hey everyone, it's Kylie from okgirlblingthings.com and today I will be showing you how to make these cute puff stitch hexagons. I will be using these hexagons to create my 2024 temperature blanket of which I will have a blog post linked in the description of this video explaining to y'all exactly how I'll be doing it. For each hexagon, the center in the very first round is going to represent the low temperature of the day. The second round, which is the puff stitch round, is going to re represent the high temperature of the day. And then the third and final round is going to be my border color. Now you don't have to use these hexagons in a temperature blanket. That's specifically what I created them for, but you can make any type of blanket that you want to with these hexagons. But if you're wanting to make a temperature blanket with them and are looking for free color charts and temperature charts, be sure to check out my blog because I have free PDF downloads for multiple color charts and multiple temperature charts that will work in different areas where you may live. But we'll jump right into this tutorial and I will show you exactly how to make these cute puff hexagons. But before we do, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to never miss another tutorial or free pattern. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and we'll get started. For this pattern, I'm using a 5mm or H crochet hook and I'm also using Brava worsted weight yarn from We Crochet in the coordinated colors for color chart number 5, which is what I'm doing for my temperature blanket. I will mention that each of my finished hexagons measure 3.5 inches wide. And to start each hexagon, we're going to start by making a magic ring or a magic circle. Once you have your magic circle made, you will then chain two, but this chain two does not count as a stitch. You will then work 12 double crochet into the magic ring. After you've made 12 double crochet in the ring, you'll grab the tail of yarn, pull the circle closed, and you'll finish the round with a slip stitch into the first double crochet. And this is where I like to change my colors. I like to slip stitch with the next color that I'm changing to. So after round one, you should have 12 double crochet. And I do want to mention with the, the tail that we use to pull the center spring closed with on the magic circle, you will want to make sure that you knot this tail and weave it in. If you do not knot it before you weave it in, it could possibly come undone and your work come unraveled. But moving on to round two, you will chain two, but this chain two does not count as a stitch. You will then work a puff stitch in the same stitch. And to make a puff stitch, you will yarn over, insert your hook into a stitch, and pull up a loop. You will repeat that three more times in the same stitch until you have a total of nine loops on your hook. You will then yarn over, pull through all nine loops, and secure that with a chain stitch. You will then make a puff stitch in the next stitch. And after you have completed that puff stitch, you will chain one. Now this is an additional chain one to the chain one that we already used to complete the puff stitch. And we will repeat this around by working a puff stitch in the next two stitches and a chain stitch. And when you reach the beginning of the round, you will slip stitch into the top of the first puff stitch, making sure to not slip stitch into the top of the chain two. You should have a total of 12 puff stitch and six chain one spaces around your hexagon. Moving on to round three, we will chain two, but this does not count as a double crochet. You will then double crochet in the same stitch and in the next three stitches until you reach that chain one corner. When you reach the chain one corner, you will place a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the chain one corner. You will then repeat this around for the rest of round three by double crocheting in the next four stitches and working a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the next chain one corner. And when you reach the beginning of the round, you will then slip stitch into the first double crochet of the round and you can cut your yarn and weave in your ends and that is how you make a puff stitch hexagon. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already and be sure to follow me along on my social media channels so you can see how my 2024 temperature blanket turns out. Happy crocheting!